Hi, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition VR mod thing. And I was wondering this at the very end of my previous session, and the game has actually delivered. So we're now in the Stanley Parable 4, and it wants me to come up with another name. So Stanley Parable 4... Um, oh, come on. Offline. Um, bomb. Confirm. Ah, that's new. Right, we've done the epilogue, so I'm going to go into the game. This is the story. Right. I'm just going to take my headset off for a moment, just because there was nothing actually happening sound-wise when I first started recording, and I just want to make sure that the sound is recording. I will be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back, and the sound is recording. It's just when I start up OBS and everything, and normally if there's a background noise in the game, I can see the actual um, levels for the, for the game audio, because there's two audio channels that I'm recording. I'm recording my voice, from a microphone and are recording the game audio as well. And there was no game audio when I started up, hence me wondering. That clock is still the same time, isn't it? Is that minute handy moving? Is it? I think it is. Right, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Because I definitely, definitely, definitely at that point where I feel like I've exhausted all the options. And all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know what I should do anymore. I don't know what I should do anymore. A door there. Shall I take or leave the bucket? I'm going to leave the bucket this time. I'll leave the bucket this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Right. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So all the stuff to do with collecting the um, figurines or whatever we're calling them, they've all gone. We're, we're back to normal here. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I still feel like there should be something in here. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Ah, do I go upstairs or downstairs? Okay, Coming I'm going to go upstairs. downstairs. Stanley I'm walked go downstairs. upstairs to his boss's office. I'm but fairly Stanley convinced I've exhausted he this. The possibility of facing his boss. Level. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically Somebody, behind him wherever? I wasn't listening, and listening to this now. I've actually listened to it so many times before. I'm just wondering, because I've played the epilogue, and now it's the Stanley Parable 4, is it going to be any different down here, or is it going to be the same? I'm dreaming! 
I think it's going to be the same. This is all a dream. In fact, I'm calling oh, it now. I predict it is going to be the to same. Have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. I'm just so gonna stay here. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Okay, the floating part's happening. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that it still had woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? How did I glitch through the map that, that first thinking? time? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And, uh... and while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Is he though? Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. So I figured we're just going to go into the Mariella so thing again, right? Doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The it would be really cool if I actually just back. woke up this time, right? The fresh air of a world outside this one. It's not going to happen. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. It's not going to happen. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Go on, surprise me. I am okay. Go on, surprise me. Stanley began screaming. Oh. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. <laughs> For a, I a moment, I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. For a brief, I'm sure there was a slightly longer pause there for a moment. For this a... is the story of a woman named Mariella. I was convinced. Absolutely convinced that woke up on a day that like it was now. actually going to be a bit different. She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she What's thought really, to herself really how quite astounding about to uh, uh, I Astounding, I should say, about I this bit is... I'm kind of looking under the I nose of my you. headset and I can and see the display on the screen. It's completely it was static. And it just and looks like a, way, an image. But here in my headset, I'm floating above the scene and everything is 3D. It's kind of astonishing to think that, like... This whole scene is built just to be seen in so 2D because you can't move your camera, I can't move my camera, move my head loads and, and nothing's moving, it's stuck to my face. Um, but yeah, like at any point in, in a game, if I'd seen a scene like that, I would have imagined it was just a, you know, an image that was being shown. But no, it's actually a rendered scene. Okay.
So I think I've definitely uh, exhausted downstairs. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I feel Stan like I've definitely the I'm meeting. ignoring the bucket. Perhaps again. he had simply missed a memo. I definitely feel like I've exhausted exhausted that wasn't there last time was it it's been there before have i brought the bucket into the new content area before can i go can i go through there return to the stanley parable to expo hall but oh, i want it to go through there Have I brought the bucket through here before? Or have I been through here bucket less before? I'm sure this bit hasn't, sh that hasn't turned up for a while. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Like Which is out. why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. But we're already on four. We've already established. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I've been through this once, right? Yeah, I've definitely been through Calling this it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? I haven't brought the bucket. Mean? I don't think I brought the bucket through here before. Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting Something concepts, I didn't... that surely the game will sort of naturally spring okay, up so around the Here we are. Go on, I've done that. try out some of the new features. The <laughs> back two doors. The end is never the end again. This t-shirt is the best new feature. I want a Stanley Parable t-shirt now. I want to know what happens if I bring the bucket in here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew I should have brought the bucket. Although I've got the collectibles. I've got all the collectibles. I've got more collectibles than I know what I do with it, although I, I am missing one. Out of order. You've been here already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> infinite hole. I've been down the infinite hole. I've done the jump circle, right? You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Did that. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. Oh. That's new. Is that new? Epilogue, yes. What? Is that it? <laughs> That's what's new. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Was that there before? <laughs> See, I've, 
For the Stanley Parable 2, ah. I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious this is answer make me do is this that again. they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Jim. So, sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Yeah, but of yeah, course, yeah, in the know, final know, game, know, this know, button know, will know, say know, your know. name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. Nobody if you don't cares. properly role play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Oh, Otherwise, no. it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. No. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Ima Jim. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> it's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Yes. Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I work very hard on? I feel like I'm playing the role of the manager now. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They would appreciate what I've created here. I know, right? Stand there. I want to know what happens if you bring the bucket into the bucket thing. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. What about the reassurance the Stanley tool? Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Oh, yes. right. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair. So it's definitely the updated version. It's got the sticker on fact, it. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just I want to know what happens now. made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Can I bring the, the bucket into this bit? Seem to go or maybe, along, don't they? maybe you don't get this. More awaits you in the if you're carrying the bucket. Too. Now what? Oh, will I back out? How do I get back out of here? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. I feel like the, the first time I came in here, I forgot to do something. There was something that I hadn't been and looked at. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing By technology accident. to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. As you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? It made the noise. Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Did I actually get you the achievement? It? That's new. Someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. 
Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um, it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. Did I actually get the achievement? <laughs> I think I may have. I certainly heard the you've got an achievement noise. In that case, I've definitely achieved something in this uh, session. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Down here. Was this here before? Yeah, I've been here before, right? Is this the infinite? No. Stanley, oh, it is here's an idea course. that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then. Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Great! Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Cool. I'm not going to go down the hole anymore. Uh, see, the last time I kept going down the hole. Door up there. Oh, I won't let me. Won't let me up. Why is the smoke? Why is the smoke? Exit. So, how do we get out? Still fairly sure there was something around here. Office decorations, settings, merch, button, free achievement, this map, jump circle. I think I've done everything now. I'm fairly sure the first time I came through here, I accidentally left before doing one All right. of the things. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yeah. Ready to move on now? Yeah. A random thing. A very random thing to just leave there. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Definitely been through this bit. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Four. I love it. Um, even an epilogue. Was well, the epilogue um, there before? I, mean, the I can't remember if the epilogue right, was there before. Sort of. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Go for it. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <laughs> <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? What's with the carpet? This isn't a coherent video carpet. game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. I'm no matter it. how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. But then they would need the structure and the gameplay Sorry. of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With of respect, course. with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This 
is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. And, yeah, we're back. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, I feel like what I should do next time is... If I take the bucket, am I going to get the new content again? Because I want to know what happens if you go into the new content area while holding the bucket. I'm also really keen to see if I actually finally got that test achievement or not. Or if it... Did the, did the game play the sound to me and it wasn't actually the Steam sound? Clock's back. <laughs> I'm almost exhausted from playing this game now, but I'm not bored of it. It's not even a game. Should we stop calling it a game? It's not a game. It's a mind screw thing. Um, I'm not going to say it. Um, but damn, 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 damn. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely still loving it, and it's still messing with my head. And I, I don't know how much longer I should keep going with this. I don't know how much longer I can keep going with this. I. I feel like I must have exhausted all of the paths through it now, surely. But I think I uncovered something new this time, didn't I? Like, I got the epilogue in the new content area. I'm sure that wasn't there before. I'm going to maybe try and remember to go back and, and watch that bit just to see if it was there or not. Um, I don't know when to finish. I don't know if I should finish. I don't know if I can ever finish. I don't know if that's the point of the game. Um, I think I'm getting close to that point though where I should probably actually think about starting to look at other people's videos. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I need to cough a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm at that point where I should look at other people's videos or maybe possibly at least do a little bit of reading about what the saturation point is for playing this. I feel like there's no end game. I feel like there's no end of the story. It doesn't make sense that there is. Um, I think maybe I might allow myself to start experiencing some spoilers um, just to see if I've actually hit pretty much everything I can. But anyway, from this dip into the Stanley Parable 4, Ultra Deluxe VR Edition 2 something. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.